Hello everyone. Today I will present you a plugin that will save you a lot of time and effort. How can you make a multi-frame video in an easy and distinctive way? Today's plugin. To late you can use photos or videos. Let's see how this plugin works. After downloading the plugin, through the link in the description box, click on the DRFX file, then install it in the program. Go to Effects, then Generator, and you will find it under here. Drag the plugin and place it on your timeline. You will find the plugin in its default position. Go to Inspector, then to Generator. Here you will find Plugin Tools. As you can see, it is very organized so that it is easy for you to use. You will find the following in it. Animation through which you can animate the entire scene as you see. After that you will find drop-down minus, for example. Here is the image 1, then the image 3, then the background 1, then the background 2, then the text 1, then the text 2, and finally stop motion. Now let's first animate the entire scene. Go to Animation, then to Center, then move the scene you like. Then put the headline at the beginning of the video. Then press the keyframe point. Then go and move the headline the distance you want. Then move the video as you see. Then do the same process at the end of the video. Now let's go to control the images. We hold the drop down menu for image 1. You will find where to insert the first image. Drag and drop the image here. The image will appear directly. After that, you will find several drop down menus. Open the transform menu. Then control the image size as you want. After that, you will find the mask menu, through which you can control cropping the image and the nipple its shape as you want. After that, you will find the outline setting menu. It contains several draw meters. Top down control menu. Here, click on activate the effect. Then control the outline size. Also, control its color. You can choose the type of color shades from here. After that, control the glow. Activate the effect. Then control its degrees as you can see. After that you will find shadow. Activate effect. Then control it as you wish. You can also control the color of shadow. You can also control the saturation of the E can see. This way you can control everything in the first picture. With the same process and tools, you can control the second and third images.
You can move each image individually using transform, as you can see. All tools are available to create everything you want, according to your scene. Now let's change the background one. All you have to do is drag and drop your image. Likewise with background 2, except that here we'll put an animated background, and I will show you later how to use video in this plugin. Now let's edit the first steps. I will change the font type, as well as the text color. Here there is a mask for the text that you can control to show and hide the text the way you like, as you can see. After that I will control the second text. Here I will control the hiding and showing of the text by writing on, as you can see. You can repeat the process with another video, and all you have to do is change the animation of the overall scene, as you see as well as change the images. Repeat the process according to your needs for the scenes and display. Here is stop motion. You can change its value, and I advise not to change it until after having is finished, as the higher the value, the heavier it is on the computer. How can you now use video in this plugin? First, create a file anywhere you want. I will create it on the desktop. After that, go to the Fusion page. Then bring your video, then go to Tools, then I go, then choose Saver. Drag it and link it to your video. Then press here. Then go to the Inspector and press Browser and choose the file you created. Do not forget to choose the image format, and if you do not find it, use it as you see fit. After that, go up to Fusion and choose Render All Savers. Here, Resolve will export the video to frames. After that, drag the file and place it in the Mia pool. After that, drag the first frame and drop it to the location of the image you want. You will see this message. Click yes to take all frames until the video plays as you see. Now, do you do all this every time you want to use a plugin? Of course not. You can now save all your work in Power Bins. Go to the three dots and tell them, then choose Power Bins. It will appear here. Create a new bin and name it whatever you want. Then throw the Pluto and name each scene as you want. After that you can drag it directly onto the timeline and work on it, just by changing the photos or videos. You can use only two photos or one photo. You go here and delete the image path, then the hill will disappear as you can see. Today's video has ended. You can download the plugin by clicking on the link in the description box. Thank you for watching and see you soon.